Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Marky Mark here and I'm back to do an unenveloping video, another one. And there's gonna be two, one from CSR Collectibles and another one from... And this is an 11514, so it's from a seller that I bought. So let's stop talking and see what's inside. Like, right now! Alright folks, so the first one we're going to take a look at is an 8x10 that I got on a coupon at CSR Collectibles and it's a Kane Hodder autograph from the 2002 film Jason X in which Kane Hodder played Jason number 10. But too bad Jason number 10 is not on this um, autograph, but I know this is Jason X. Too bad he didn't bother writing Uber Jason because this is the uber jason there look at that folks some people cr have some mixed feelings about number 10 sure but but the best part is they bought the kill from part seven the sleeping bag kill and tell me something which part eight is your favorite everyone knows part seven yes people have mixed feelings about eight and nine maybe ten or ten maybe i don't know but i like all eight of them I mean, all four Jasons that he portrayed. He did a great job. And and a great guy, of course. So, yeah. He portrayed that character to the fullest. And, best of all, an urban legend in the world of horror. And let me know in the comments down below, which is your favorite Friday the 13th? Which is your favorite kills? Or... Um, any of you guys are in the fan films, let me know. There are some. But you always gotta make sure you thank Kane Hodder for portraying. And of course, and I did recently or maybe said that he did stop motions. What is it? Motion capture for the video game. Friday 13th, the video game playing all of the previous Jasons. Except part one, the mom was the villain and Jason was just a boy. And you have parts 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and the ones that he had done, which was 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then there was the Freddy vs. Jason, and the 2009, Friday the 13th, and then there's the Inferno Jason, which is this, which was designed by the makeup effects artists of part 1 and 4, Tom Savini. So he did motion captures for those Jasons, because he's the dude that can handle the job. And it's a great character, he says. Plenty of rage in all the Jasons that he did. So, yeah. And, of course, back it authenticated. And let's give a, and let's give a shout out to Kane Hodder, folks. Alrighty, on to the next one. This next one was in a big on envelope. <laughs> Gonna need to widen the lens. Whoa! Horror of Legend, Legends of Horror, Ted White, limited edition to 25 piece, 25 signed pieces. And lo, and lo and behold, this is it. Uh, let me just zoom out. Oh, this is all I can zoom out, folks. Ooh, nannies. Huh, I'm going to have to lift this up a little bit. So, yuppity yup. And it's mine is number 23 out of 25. So hmm, I'm good. And it's from the folks over at CSR Collectibles. Mm -hmm. CSR folks. Mm -hmm. Ted White, Jason Four. So yeah. This is the stuff that he portrayed as Jason, and he doubled Recal Browning and Ben Chapman in Creature from the Black Lagoon, certain scenes of the film. And he, and then he did Jason Voorhees. Too bad he didn't, they didn't put, well, it has to be horror related though. But he did play Planet of the Apes, but it's not horror, it's sci-fi. But a little continuity error right about here, that's a part three. Ted White didn't do the stunts for part three. That was played by two guys, Richard Brooker and Richard Brooker and um, Mike DeLuna. That's a part three mask, not a part four mask like this. 
think that's a little bit of a continuity error right there, folks. And again, this is an 11 by um, uh, 11 by um, 14. So yeah, anybody is a fan of the genre and as well as a fan of um, suspense and stuff, horror, even of course Universal Monsters, anybody grew up watching monsters as kids, you get what I'm saying, if you catch my drift and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is a nice design. Beautifully done by the folks over at CSR. They did one for Tom Morgan, not like this. They did one for Nick Castle. And again, limited to only this amount. 25, maybe 100, who knows. It's usually 25, I believe. So yeah, Le Legends of Horror. Ted White, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, if you like any content like this, click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads. Like the videos, you got any opinions, comments down below. And please always appreciate the thumbs ups, always appreciate that. And have any opinions, comments down below. And also I'm in the YouTube community, what time do I post the videos, like at a certain time and such. And as well as any other, any other, um, videos or pre-orders and speaking about that you got till december four till december 14th that is that is till next week to get your hands on physical copies of the fps documentary so the link is already in the description box down below it's already on the community the youtube community so check that out better get it while you can that's only going to be there until december 14th folks so yeah Let's give a shout out to Kane Hodder, Ted White. God rest, to, God rest his soul. He's no longer with us. I wish he was still around though. But he lived a great career and he's a legend. Was a legend, of course. And also Kane Hodder, folks. You can never forget Kane Hodder. So y'all, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you, hear you, and see you on the next vid. Enjoy Monday, y'all. And later.